Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Nissan GTR that's been tuned to 1600 horsepower. Next to me is another Nissan GTR that's been tuned to a thousand horsepower. And next to that is a Nissan GTR that's been tuned to 650 horsepower. Why the heck are we doing this drag race? Well, what I want to do is see how much extra performance you get from tuning the cars and how much extra speed you get for how much you spend, All right? I'm gonna explain why. You see, this particular car I'm sat in here, it's had a lot spent on it, over a hundred thousand pounds. I mean, everything's been done. It's got a 4.1 litre V6 engine instead of the normal 3.8. It's just been like balled out and rebuilt and blah, blah, and so much. It's also got a load of torque, 1600 Newton meters of torque. It's had a built gearbox to cope with all that power. It runs on ethanol. It's crazy but it's expensive. However, you could spend quite a bit less and get a thousand horsepower. So that one next to me costs 35,000 pounds in terms of upgrades on top of the price of the GTR. As a result, as well as a thousand horsepower, you've got 1,150 Newton meters of torque. Now they achieved that by doing things such as fitting hybrid turbos to the car. They had to strengthen the gearbox. They changed the rods and the pistons so they could cope with extra power. But the engine block is still the normal 3.8 litre V6 that you got from the factory. Next to that though is the most basic car. So all that's had done is an ECU remap. It's had a new intake and a new exhaust. That's it. But that has liberated an extra 100 horsepower. So instead of the standard 550 that it had from the factory, it's now got 650 and 840 newton meters of torque instead of the usual 620 newton meters the GTR has from the factory. Right. I think I've got all the stats right. There's probably some more information about the cars, but you don't really need to know. What you do need to know is that I've been lent these cars by JM Imports who builds them. Also a chap called Romain who tunes them. And this particular car has been lent to me by one of JM's customers, a chap called Hamid. So thanks Hamid for lending me your car. Now, if you want to find out more about these cars and the people behind them, I'll put a link in the description with all their Instagrams and stuff. Now, before we get on, as ever, please make sure you subscribe to the Car Channel, and if you haven't done so already, hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. And finally, why don't you follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Once again, link in the description. Big shout out to me. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Ignition on. This is Hamed, he's going to show me how to start his car, because it's got a immobiliser. Yeah, press yep. this one four times. Will people now know how to steal your car? Yeah, I'll change it, don't worry. Okay, right, that one? Yeah, four times. One, two, three, four. One more. Cool. So, so five four times. On the brake. It's on the brake. And then start. So shall we do the sound check now and know how to actually launch this thing? <laughs> right, are you ready, guys? I'm gonna rev up this beast of a machine. <laughs> oh, yes! That sounds amazing, but it smells dreadful. Oh my God. Anyway, let's hear the thousand horsepower car. Oh, it's nice. It sounds quite different to this one actually, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a small exhaust on this one. I think it's a 3.5 inch. 3.5 inch, that isn't gonna please anybody, is it? Let's hear the last car, the 650 horsepower one. It actually sounds more powerful than the 1,000 horsepower one, Jürgen. Matt, this is an old build done six years ago, and that one's a more of a modern build, so that one runs a four-inch titanium exhaust. Oh, it's got four inches rather than three and a half. Okay, fair enough, a bit more. You know, it's handy to have. Is there anything I need to know about launching this, Jürgen? Just make sure that you go in manual mode and make sure you've got all, all, off in the settings like I showed you. Yeah. Um, once you're in manual mode and first, obviously you hold the brake fully down, slam the accelerator, build the boost up for about three seconds and then pin it when we're ready to go and then hold on. Okay, let's do this. really hot in here. The temperature's at 30 degrees for some reason. <laughs> Something else was wrong, like it was on fire. Who has the blooming air con at 30 degrees? <laughs> oh, Hamid. Okay, that was scary. It just started to drift and sway. You just gotta be brave and keep it going straight. I think I won. Jürgen, what happened to you? I wasn't as quick as you guys off the light. 
careful, we'll go again. Right, let's have another go at this. I felt like a better launch, but the car sort of like didn't like it towards the end. It was like, ah, I might short shift. So then what exactly happened? Well, the 1600 horsepower GTR won, unsurprisingly, completing the standing quarter mile in 9.2 seconds. The 1000 horsepower GTR came second with a standing quarter mile time of 10.3 seconds, and the 650 horsepower GTR took 11.3 seconds to cross the line. Unfortunately, after we'd run our drag races, the central differential in the 1600 horsepower GTR failed so it was only running in rear wheel drive mode which was a bit sketchy so we had to retire it okay so i've jumped in the thousand horsepower car interestingly this was tuned like six years ago and it's never broken it's done 30 000 miles on the tune still fine so it shouldn't break today unless i'm cursed let's not be cursed okay now we're going to do a rolling race with the cars locked in second gear from 30 miles an hour and i'm going to count it in three two one go he took off better than me Of Lee, can I get the half mile? That was really interesting, Sam. So you took off quicker than me, obviously on boost quicker. You're ahead for a little bit, and then you weren't ahead at all, and then you got smashed. I was well ahead of you at the half mile. I might have cheated a little bit, not intentionally. I could have jumped at like two and a half. I don't think it really makes a difference, though, does it? Well, let's do it properly. Come on, get level. Ready? You level? Don't cheat this time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so from that, Sam, I don't think you cheated a little. I think you might have cheated a lot. It does jump a little bit better than you, though, doesn't it? Just on the initial bit, it does seem to. Are you ever able to just go, yeah, do you know what? You are right. I have a big book of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> he does. My car's now making a very strange smell and it's not coming from my bottom. I've never smelt this smell before, but it's not a good smell. It's like a burning smell. A burning smell from a tuned car. I've never heard of it. I might just go and ask the owner if the smell is familiar. Jürgen. This is Jürgen from Jamie Imports. You, right? you heard him before on the radio. Smell that. I haven't just farted, by the way. Yeah. Is that an all right smell? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Okay, that's normal. Yeah, let's go again. <laughs> GTR smell. This is GTR smell. <laughs> Probably very, very bad for you smell. Right, Sam, what we're going to do this time is 50 mile an hour third gear roll on. You good? Yeah, copy, copy. Right, no cheating. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> So what am I doing at the half mile? Yeah, that's enough. 170. Oh, very shaky steering wheel. I think this guy needs some new brake discs. They're clearly warped. Which is handy because of the next test we're going to do. Right, let's do a brake test. 70 miles an hour, line, full immersion stop. You know the drill, you know the drill. Let's go do it. Here comes the line. And brake. I think my wobbly discs did make a difference. A big difference by the look of it. Listen, if you're watching this and your steering wheel wobbles when you brake, get your brakes changed, all right? It could save your life. Anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. There's another strange smell coming now. I don't know what this one is. It smells highly toxic, just like the other smells, but different. Toxic in a different way. Maybe this is the one that will make me blind rather than deaf. Anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you want to find out more about these cars and what happens to them next, because that orange car is having something insane done to it. It's going to have more than 1,600 horsepower. Make sure you follow the guys, such as Hamid, by logging onto their Instagrams. It's in the description. I'm waving my hands about a lot because I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to be saying. Also, if you want to check out 
a fabulous deal on an awesome sports car that isn't tuned through CarWow, click on the pop-out banner up there, put a link to a really good car that I really like, that we found a great deal on, so make sure you check that out as well. And as ever, follow me on Instagram, and I want some cars. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other tuned cars you'd like to see in the comments below. Or if you'd like me to stop doing tuned cars, tell me, go, Matt, they're rubbish, they keep on breaking. Let me know, it's up to you. Also, if you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows, and if you click on that box there, you can see how these cars, sunny quarter miles times, is that even English? You can see how these cars standing quarter mile times compared to all the other cars we've drug raced over the years. Thanks for watching.